All right, guys, we're in this patient's left shoulder. This is a 50-year-old guy with a rotator cuff tear. We've already done subacromial decompression here. This is the supraspinatus, and this is what a rotator cuff tear looks like. So this is the rotator cuff tissue here. So just to address something that's a little bit of a misconception in the shoulder, some patients say they have a rotator cuff tear, and they went to therapy, and they did injections, or but it's physically impossible to fix a rotator cuff tear without surgery. And that's a full thickness rotator cuff tear because it, uh, the tendon starts to retract. So here's the supraspinatus tendon. And as you can see, it's ripped off the bone. So when we come and fix these, these tears, what we do is we bring the tendon back down over here and lay it down onto, onto bone. It doesn't matter what you inject here. There is nothing that is going to reestablish this tendon's connection back down to the bone over here. It's torn off the bone and it's retracted and that's what a full thickness rotator cuff tear is. So short of surgery, unfortunately there's nothing you can do that's going to fix or heal this tear. Uh, but that's why the patient's here and that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna show you how we do it right now. So step number one here is preparing for our repair. So this is a burr and what I'm gonna do is just gently decorticate this bone. What that allows for is some bone marrow constituents to leak through the bone back into the tendon and allows the tendon to heal down into the bone here once we've repaired it. So as you can see, I turned my burr on here. We're going in reverse, which is just a little bit more gentle on this tissue. And I gently remove all of this remaining soft tissue here so that once we've repaired the cuff, it's got a good chance to heal back down into the bone where it once was. Um, so that's step number one here is preparing for our rotator cuff repair in order to improve our chances of success. So just a final look there at our prepared bed of bone here on the greater tuberosity of the shoulder. Uh, and now we're going to fix this rotator cuff tear right here. Okay, so here's our medial row anchor. Here's our drill. Go for it. Cool thing about this anchor is that it's all suture. So there's not actually a screw associated with it. It's just the suture material that creates the anchor. So there it is going in. Good. So there's a look at our anchor. It's double loaded with two number two ultra braid suture. And I'm really pulling on that just to show you how firmly set that is in the tuberosity of the humerus. And this will show you how we shuttle our sutures. So this is a suturing, suture passing device. So I've loaded our suture onto the passer. And then I'm going to come here more anteriorly for our first bite. And this passes the suture through the rotator cuff. It grasps it and allows me to bring it back out through the shoulder. And then suture number two coming in here. I'm just going to go a little bit posterior to our first pass there. There you can see it being shuttled and then coming back out. And there you go. There's our first suture passed. And here's our final suture being passed. I've already passed one limb of the white suture. Now I'm coming really far posterior here for a nice bite there with the white suture. So we decided to use another anchor here. So here's our second medial row anchor in, in here. And there you can see it loaded there our first ones are passed. I'm going to pass a couple more sutures here posteriorly in this tear just to give us a little bit, bit better and stronger fixation. Okay, so this is going to be a double row repair. You've already seen our medial row anchors. And now what we do is we're going, we're going to bring out three posteriorly and three anteriorly, our suture. Here we are preparing for our lateral row anchor. So this is a tap, which creates threads for our anchor. That looks good. I'm going to take that out. And there you can see our anchor coming in. That's the top of it. So that's gonna go down into its hole there. And once we're happy with where it is, we're gonna slowly turn this down. Cool thing about these anchors is their hollow architecture. So they don't have anything in the middle which allows bone marrow to leak out into the repaired rotator cuff to help with healing. So that's in there nicely. And once we're in there, we're gonna lock the suture. There it is. Good. And there's the repaired cuff back down to bone. Decompression done. That looks good. We'll show you what it looks like here through the lateral portal. So we come into the shoulder. 
So there it is. Double row reconstruction. There those hollow architecture anchors are, allowing bone marrow to leak up into the cuff. That looks good.